so greetings to everybody namaskaram swagatam today on behalf of pikmake i dr ramesh vishwanathan chairperson of pikmake it gives me great pleasure and immense uh, what you call uh, opportunity that i am doing this great masters event on pandit jasrat ji so this is an uh, what you call in event which pikmake has been doing for the last two and a half years online and the idea of doing great masters is to bring to the school doorstep the great masters what the great master is about and what is our indian culture so this is an initiative taken by spikmake an organization which has been there for 43 years started by professor kiran seth of iit delhi the founder and director of spikmake who is a padma padma shri and sangeet natak academy winner so we have been doing this great master event for the last two and a half years and today you will all be blessed to see a documentary on pandit jasraj one of the legends of hindustani classical music so before i start the program i would request jyoti and sham from bombay to start an invocation song and so both of you can start ma thank you jyoti uh, who is a student at green arcs academy who is 12 years old and shyam anand from rbk international school he is 10 years old thank you both of you for a wonderful invocation on the guru and now formally what i am going to start, do is i am going to give a brief introduction about pandit jasraj and i thank uh, piyush trivedi madam from uh, vivekananda kendriya vidyalaya bilwara rajasthan for making all the efforts to have this program scheduled in the school hall there are close to 100 children who are viewing this program in the school and this is going to be a wonderful event today so i will be just briefly giving you about pandit jasraj and we'll have three children ask me the questions i'll try to answer these questions very very briefly to the capacity which i know 
but to talk about pandit jasraj itself makes me gives me goosebumps because such a legendary classical vocalist it is probably will take years and decades to even talk about him so pandit jasraj was an indian classical vocalist belonging to the mewati gharana a musical appreciation lineage his musical career spanned 75 years resulting in national and international fame respect and numerous major awards and accolades his legacy includes memorable performances of classical and semi classical vocal music classical and devotional music albums and film soundtracks innovations in various genres including haveli sangeet and popularizing the mewati gharana a school of thought in hindustani classical music pandit jasraj ji taught music to amateur and professional students in india europe canada and the united states jasraj ji was born on 28 january 1930 in pili mandori a village in then hisar district now fatehabad district of haryana in a middle class brahmin family to pandit moti ram a classical singer and krishna bai he was the youngest of the three sons in a family of classical singers moti ram when jasraj was four on the day he was an appointed as a state musician in the court of mir osman ali khan his eldest brother was vocalist pandit pandit maniram who instructed jasraj after passing of their away of their father jasraj's elder brother pandit pratap narayan was also accomplished musician and was the father of the music composer duo jatin lalit the singer actress surakshana pandit and actress vidya pandit's fa father pandit pratap narayan taught jasraj to play tabla starting at the age of 7 but the jasraj decided that he wanted to sing only by 14 jasraj spent his youth in hyderabad and traveled often to sanand in gujarat to study music with musicians of the mewati gharana jasraj performed for the maharaja jaiwan singh vagela the takur saheb of sanan who was deeply dedicated to classical music and received training from him in 1946 jasraj ji moved to calcutta where he began singing classical music for radio in 1962 jas pandit jasraj ji married madhurama madhura shantaram the daughter of the film director v shantaram who he had met in 1960 in bombay they initially lived in calcutta and moved to bombay in 1963 they have two children a son sharang dev pandit and daughter durga jasraj and three grand grandchildren madhura made a film sangeet martan pandit jasraj in 2009 and directed her first marathi film aai tuza aashirwad in 2007 10 in which her husband and lata mangeshkar sang in marathi and this is the time when pandit jasraj ji was called that sangeet martan pandit jasraj So, Jasraj was initiated to vocal music by his father and later trained as a tabla accompanist under his elder brother. Jasraj began his training as a vocalist at the age of 14 after renouncing tabla in a reaction to how accompanists were treated at that time. He would practice singing close to 14 hours a day. In 1952 when he was 22 he performed his first stage concert as a vocalist in the court of King Tribhuvan Bir Bikram Shah of Nepal in Kathmandu before becoming a stage a performer Jasraj worked as a performing artist on radio for several years although Jasraj was belonged to the Mewati Gharana a school of music known for its traditional performances kayals Jasraj has sung kayals with some flexibility adding elements to the lighter styles including the tumuri during the initial stages of his career he was criticized for incorporating elements from other schools of music or gharanas into singing musicologist s kalidas has noted however that this is borrowing of elements across gharana has now become more commonly accepted jasraj received several awards and some of them are padma bhushan sangeet natak academy fellowship Bharat Ratna Bhimson Joshi Indian Classical Music Lifetime Award in 2013 Marwar Sangeet Ratna Award Gangubai Hangal Lifetime Achievement Award in 2016 So this is the brief about Pandit Jasraj 
So today what we are going to do is we are going to be playing a documentary on Pandit Dasraj and a musical piece uh, which, it, which is going to probably evoke all the elements of how Dasraj we sang. So before we play the video, we have three questions and I will try to answer the three questions as much as possible. So uh, Trivedi Madam, can you request the students to ask me questions? Yes, sir. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Piyush Trivedi from Vedukanam Kendra Vidyalaya Huda. Yes, madam. Uh, Honorable Rameshta, after listening to your brief introduction about Pandit Jasraj, our children are curious to know something more about him. So can you please answer the questions? Yes. We have first question from Nidhi Tater. Okay, Nidhi, ask me. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah, madam, you can translate maybe the question. I think there is some. So she'll be asking. Yeah, yeah. Good afternoon, everyone. My question to Guruji is. At what age did you learn music? So at the age of 14, he started his musical journey. He, as I indicated to you, he was, uh, he didn't probably wanted to per pursue playing tabla. So he became, uh, uh, he started at uh, the age of 14. And after that, he has been singing for 75 years. And he was initially trained in Indian classical vo vocalist with Pandit Maniram and later with Jaiwan Singh Wagela, a vocalist and Bean Kar, and Gulam Kadar Khan of Mewati Garana. In addition, he was trained under Swami Vallabdas Damuli of the Agra Garana. So this is the background about Garana Ji, uh, about Pandit uh, Jasraj Ji. So can you ask your next question, please? Uh, Vaibhav Sharma. Yeah. Good afternoon, everyone. Today, I would like to ask a question from our respected guest. Sir, what is special about our Indian classical music? Okay. So, Hindustani classical music follows what is called as a Khayal style. But Jasraj, even though he popularized Khayals with some flexibility, adding lighter element, elements of lighter style like Tumri, he created a novel form of Jugul Bandi called Jasrangi that is tied to on the ancient system of Murchana between a male and a female vocalist who sing each different ragas at the same time. He was also known for presenting a variety of rare ragas like Aberi Thodi and Patdeep. So about the Jasraj popularization, in addition to performing classical music, Jasrajdi work to popularize Haveli Sangeet, which involves semi-classical performances in temples. He had also sung classical and semi-classical composition for the same for film soundtrack, such as, such as a song, Vandana Kharo, composed in the Raga Ahir Bhairav by the composer Vasan Desai in the film Ladki Sahyadri Ki and a duet with vocalist Bhim Sen Joshi for the soundtrack of the film Birbal, my brother, and a ballad. Vada Tumse Hai Vada for a horror film titled 1920, directed by Vikram Bhatt. So in addition, Jasrajji organizes annual musical festival called Pandit Motiram, Pandit Maniram Sangeet Samora in Hyderabad. This festival has been held annually since 1972. So this is, in a nutshell, about uh, Jasraji's style of music, his, it, it, what you call, insight into Indian classical music. You can ask me the third question. One more question. That is the last one. Avika Jhavar. Pardon? Yeah. Good afternoon, everyone. I would also like to raise a question about Pandit Jasraj. So can you please tell us the teachings and techniques of him so he was an extremely humble human being. And 
I think in the audience today, we have many people, some of them have learned from Pandit Jasra. So he didn't see the level of a person singing. He would teach people right from the basics of Hindustani music. And he had a wide range of music schools where he had founded schools in Atlanta, Tampa, Vancouver, Toronto, New York, New Jersey, Pittsburgh, Mumbai, and Kerala. Jasraj would spend about six, six months of each year in the United States and Canada at either of his home in New Jersey, teaching and touring. And some of his students, he taught them through Skype also. And so his style was very easy to follow. And he would have a bhakti rasa whenever Dasaraji sings, and which you see, see in the video and on the documentary, you will see that he was extremely fluent in his understanding of Indian classical music. And also he was to evoke what you call the bhakti rasa in all the people who were sitting in the program. And you will observe this in the video, which we are going to play. So this is in a nutshell about the, uh, the the question which you have asked now uh, it, uh abhishek so are you done with the question children yes sir yes, it's sir. over it's now over. now abhishek you can start playing the documentary and followed with which will be a video at 140 we will probably have a, we'll break and have an note of thanks i would request all of you to switch off the uh, what you call uh, audio, but the video can be on because the children who are uh, seeing this from uh, uh, the school in Bilwara, we can see them, uh, you know, uh, at, uh, in, in, in the camera. So, uh, Abhishek, you can start playing. I'm just about to send you an email. Yeah, yeah. Everything's been arranged. Don't worry about it. Oh, yeah, okay. Hold on, please. Hello? Yeah? Ratan Bhaiya, Babu ka fax. Acha. Jai ho. Jai ho. Thank you. All the best. Tabiyat se manna. Are sab thik hai. Oh, God. Didda. Ji. Jaldi aao, jaldi aao. Ji. Sab saman rakha. Chalo, jaldi karo. Ole vaaple, ole vaaple. Durga, Durga. Haji. Jai ho, Dadu. Ole, 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 ole. Jai ho, Dadu. Mera swarmandal. A swarmandal. A Durga ke paas hai kya? Change. Rish, come and say bye to Dadu. Chal. Chal, gaadi jaldi show kar. Dher ho, bhai. Bye, Jai ho. जय हो दादी कहां है दादी कहां है जय हो बाय yet resonating, fading in and out of everyday life, shaping and embracing through the sheer act of living every mortal human life. 
including those we regard as living legends. To trace Pandit Jasraj's roots, one might take a ride to Pili Mandori, a remote village in the Haryana state of North India. From here, the compelling notes of life's music had long ago beckoned his father, the renowned musician of the Mevati Gharana, Pandit Muti Ram, far down south to flourish under aristocratic patronage in the state of Hyderabad. When Jasraj was barely three and a half years old, his father left him the swaras, just the seven notes of music as legacy, and departed for his heavenly abode. The sudden death of the breadwinner brought down the living standards of the family, landing it into this dilapidated house which still stands witness to those first harsh notes of poverty along the musical journey of life. Pandit Maniram sent him to Vivek Vardhini for basic schooling. Then, Jasraj preferred the lure of the outdoors to the four walls of any classroom, and it was music that held sway over studies of the prosaic kind. With misty eyes, Pandiji recalls his first romance with music. Yes, five-year-old Jasraj, forgetting school and the world at large, steps for hours, mesmerized by the magic of music. शाम को घर लौट के आता था। ये गाना था अख्तरी बाई फैजाबाद, जो बाद में हिंदुस्तान में देखा मख्तर के नाम से मशहूर हुई। So his path moved further away towards the full time school of life। हिंदुस्तान से शुरू होके यहाँ तक ले आए। His immediate elder brother, Pandit Pratap Narayan, taught him to play the tabla. And learning fast, Jasraj began to accompany his brothers in concerts. And on certain occasions, he would even be invited to play solo on the Indian percussion. Changed its And there began the next phase of Pandit Jasraj's musical journey. State of Sanam embraced a 14-year-old Jasraj as its state musician, along with his elder brother and guru, Pandit Manira. Oh God, ऐसी सीढ़ियाँ? चढ़ते चलो बेटा, ज़िंदगी की सीढ़ियाँ मंज़िल तक पहुँच जाओगे। It was in Sanam. But he came face to face with the first miraculous incident of his eventful life. 
जिनकी वजह से अपने यहाँ आज भी गाना गाया जाता है इनसे क्या क्या नहीं मिला बड़े भाई साहब की आवाज माता जी का वरदान पंडित मनी राम सडनली लॉस्ट इज सिंगिंग वॉइस जब मैं पहली बार यहाँ आया ट्रॉमेटिक एक्सपीरियंस लाइफ एंड लाइवलीहुड डिपेंडेड सोलली ऑन इट When everything known to medical science proved futile, a friend advised them to approach Maharaj Jayendra Singh Ji Vadhela of Sun. आप इसको मेवाती घराने के तुलने में कहें तो भी कोई अतिशोध की नहीं होगी, क्योंकि यही है जिसने मेवाती घराने को बचाया। माता जी ने आवाज दी। Is gracious enough to invite the brothers, Maniram and Jasraj, inside the sanctum sanctorum of the temple of his deity, the Divine Mother. Where, despite the inability, he asked Pandit Maniram to try and sing for the goddess, while he himself prayed earnestly and pleaded with the Divine Mother to bless the distressed singer with the revival of his lost voice. Accompanying his brother on the tabla, young Jasraj witnessed the incredible. As Pandit Maniram sang. His voice began to come back and ring true, and very soon he attained the crystal clarity he had lost. The significance of this incident sunk deep, and young Jasraj felt the first ripples of spirituality in his musical consciousness. पंडित जी की गायकी में, उनकी साधना में, उनके बड़े भाई साहब और गुरुजी, पंडित मनीराम जी और सानंद के बापू साहब और मेरे गुरु स्वामी श्री वल्लभ दास जी की बड़ी कृपा रही उनके आशीर्वाद रहे मुझे कुछ स्मरण याद है आबू में जब हम साथ में रहते थे माउंट आबू में तब बचपन में हम गेम खेला करते थे और वो भी चन्नी रात में इसी तरह से बचपन बीता साथ में गाए बजाए रात रात भर की महफिलें होती रही Life of Sanan enriched him in many wonderful ways. Maharaj Jayawan Singh Ji himself was a gifted and scholarly musician of the Mevati Gharan. Many an inspired bandish flowed from his pen, which were set to music by Mahamahopadhyay Pandit Maniram. Sanan lost his statehood with one historic stroke. Of the political pen. And the family of the state musicians, Pandit Maniram and Pandit Jasraj, with the blessings of their beloved patron, moved far into the east, as if following the strains of their own musical composition from Mother Kalika, the resident deity of the bustling city of Calcutta. <laughs> This is the place where he stayed and practiced in Calcutta, the city that tested the metal and perseverance of artists, showering love and applause to the eventual survivor. मेरी सालगिरह थी तो मैंने उनसे कहा कि तुम मुझे एक प्रेजेंट दो कि कल से तुम बिना रियाज के घर से नहीं निकलोगे क्योंकि उस वक्त उनके मन में ये था कि मैं बहुत बड़े संगीत के घराने का हूँ मुझको रियाज करने की जरूरत नहीं लेकिन जब मैंने ये कहा तो उन्होंने वो बदे की गिफ्ट जो मुझे दी वो आज तक दी क्यूँकी दूसरे ही दिन सुबह ऐसी ही उन्होंने रियाज करना शुरू किया मैं मैंने जा करके 
कभी रोड कलकत्ता में रहता था और एक भाइयों जैसा संबंध हम लोगों का तभी से बन गया और जो बात मैंने खास उस वक्त देखी पंडित जसराज जी का और बड़े भाई साहब पंडित मणिराम जी का जो संबंध वो तो बड़े भाई भी थे उनके गुरु भी थे और पिता समान भी थे Yet textured richly with the emotional energy of the common folk and well-wishers, the city of God of Scali inspired Pandit Jasraj to live a life of passionate struggle during those crucial formative years as a vocalist. एक तरह से यूँ समझिए कि पक्कड़ की तरह रहते थे कभी जसराज जी मेरे पास कभी मैं उनके पास दिन भर हम लोग घूमते थे क्योंकि उनका घर गाने का है तबले वालों से सबसे बड़ी दोस्ती थी और खुद जसराज जी तबले में उस्ताद हैं तो बैठ के एक एक गाने को तबले पर साधना सुर को देखना सुर को कैसे भरना भरना चाहिए Unwavering in the face of big city distractions, Jasraj never compromised with his music, which he pursued with a hermit-like sincerity and dedication. घंटों वो गाना सिखाते थे, कभी-कभी बड़े नाराज होते थे। कुछ दिनों तक समझ में नहीं आया कि वो क्यों नाराज हो रहे हैं, बिना गलती के नाराज की। तब पता चला उनको भूख लगी है। पूछती थी, आपने खाना खाया? पता चलता था, दो दिन तक खाना नहीं खाया है। तब मैं कहती थी प्लीज खाना खा लीजिए तो मैं आपसे और रात दो दो रियाज रियाज किया एंड सून इवन बिफोर शी कुड प्राउडली विटनेस her son's first big break as a vocalist on the national program of all india radio jasraj's mother passed away leaving him immersed yet again in grief and dejection with the march of time came marriage and father as happy synchronous events bringing in a measure of worldly order and family bliss to his fluid and demanding lifestyle yahan kolkata aaye instead of being a distraction his talented wife complimented his first love his music in a manner that inspired him to strive even harder and recognize the importance of achievements horizons expanded and destiny with its own hands began to open up the avenues of fame and fortune while national and international accolades honors titles and trophies were being showered upon him he was busy scaling the heights of spirituality by exploring the depths of his music riding the waves of success and adulation he the true artist never ceased to evolve as a creative explorer and innovator a popular audience saw him bring down unexpected rain while singing the monsoon rag dhulia malha on another occasion in the city of varanasi His rendition of Ragini Todi inspired a deer to come bounding inside the ring of a bewildered human audience. But then, miracles have had a lifelong twist. The Pandit Jasraj, a deep inquiry into his own man-woman relationship and duality, leading up to that ideal sense of completeness in the male-female principles of nature, inspired him to present an exciting new dimension to the musical Jugal Bandi. Famously christened Jasrangi by an enthralled live audience. तो मन में एक जिज्ञासा उत्पन्न होती है कि ये जुगलबंदी incomplete क्यों है? जबकि प्रकृति पुरुष जलवायु धरती आकाश राधा कृष्ण शिव शक्ति ये मिलकर वह मिलकर एक बनता है और पूर्णता को प्राप्त करता है कि ये जुगलबंदी पूर्णता को प्राप्त क्यों नहीं करती? तो जवाब अंदर से आया हमारे ऋषि मुनियों ने जिन्होंने ये भारतीय संगीत की स्थापना की है उन्होंने पहले से इसका प्रावधान रखा है और उसका नाम है मूर्छना भेद 
सुसी मोचना भेद के आधार पर ये जुगलबंदी बनी है जिससे पुरुष अपने साजो सामान के साथ होता है स्त्री अपने साज सामान के साथ होती है हर चीज हर आदमी का अलग होता है इसके बावजूद भी ये जुगलबंदी है और उनका अलग राग इनका अलग राग ये सब मिलकर पूर्णता को सच में प्राप्त होते हैं जब ये जुगलबंदी पूना में पहली बार प्रस्तुत की गई तो पूना के जिसे हम कह सकते हैं कि सांस्कृतिक नगरी है कल्चरल सिटी है उसे हम आराम से कह सकते हैं उन्होंने सब पब्लिक ने खड़े होकर एक मुख होकर कहा कि पंडित जी यह साधारण जुगलबंदी नहीं है ये तो जसरंगी जुगलबंदी है The annual music festival in Hyderabad, in memory of his musical ancestry, is a function he presides over with an unfailing pilgrim like devotion. Just as the treasures of his own hard-earned realizations and sublime intuitions get showered generously upon his students and disciples from far and wide. In this era of speed and impatience, his personality as a teacher and guru has reflected the ancient tradition of India. It has been a delicate balance between strict discipline and affectionate care. <laughs> flown free like sunshine from the Sangeet Martan. <laughs> As a revered guru and a high priest of Indian classical music, Pandit presence in person, name and spirit has enriched universities and institutions of music in far-flung places like Prague, Vancouver, Toronto, Oklahoma, Harvard, Tampa, New Jersey, and New York. In the first time of the year 1979, there was a time of the year 1979. There was a time of the year 1979. There was a time of the year 1979. There was a time of the जो मुझे दिया जा रहा है मेरा नहीं ये पंडित जसराज जी का होना चाहिए तो इस भावना से भाव विभर अवस्था में मेरे मुख से ये स्टेज पर ये बात निकली कि आज से ये स्टेज पंडित जसराज ऑडिटोरियम के नाम से ही पहचाना जाएगा Thank you. 
announced the grand finale of two days most memorable music festival held to celebrate the inauguration of Pandit Jasraj Auditorium in New York. इस गायन कला को हमारे भारत में नहीं बल्कि सारे संसार में इस तरीके से उसको महत्वपूर्ण स्थान दिलवाया है कि आज सारे संसार में जहाँ भी हम सुनते हैं पंडित जसराज जी का गाना सुनते हैं शागिदों को तैयार किया है बहुत प्यार से उनको सिखाया है और पूरी दुनिया में शागिद इस वक्त है जो उनके घराने का मैसेज आगे ले जाएंगे deeply felt insights and inspired research into the philosophy of music and its universality have run parallel to Pandit Ji's trailblazing path of a much celebrated performing artist. This is the first time of September 1995. Today's classes are in New Jersey, Edison, New Jersey, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Tata, Baltimore, Midland. गुरु जी के नाम से हमारी गुरु दक्षिणा स्मरण ये मैंने शुरू कर दी तो 1990 में हमने एक एक्सपेरिमेंटल तौर पर शुरुआत की 91 में गुरु जी जब साल भर के बाद आए तो उन्होंने स्टूडेंट्स का प्रोग्रेस देख के उनको भी ऐसा लगा कि जरूर हम कुछ कर सकते हैं दिस इवेंट फॉर ग्लोब ट्रॉटिंग लाइफस्टाइल हाउएवर इंस्टेड ऑफ बीइंग अ हिंड्रेंस हैज सीन अ मैच्योर इन वेरियस डिमेंशंस वर्ल्डली एंड of directors of Pandit Jasra School of Music, Vancouver. ये हमारे बहुत सौभाग्य की बात है कि आज Pandit Jasra School of Music Foundation में करीब 50-50 students हैं। भारतीय शास्त्रीय संगीत के मर्दन या गायक Pandit Jasra जी एक ऐसे संगीतकार हैं जो कि स्वरलय और शास्त्रीय गायक तो हैं। उसके साथ ही ये बहुत ही भावात्मक संगीतज्ञ हैं और जिसे भारत में ही नहीं बल्कि विश्व में लोग पसंद करते हैं। Enamored by the medieval kirtan of the Pushti Mark, Pandit Ji went on to infuse new life into Haredi Sangeet with his creative genius. I'm 
आज ख्याल सुनने वाले ख्याल गाने वालों में पुष्टि मार्गी संगीत प्रणाली को जिस तरह से फिर से प्रस्तुत किया है पंडित जी ने वो पंडित जी का एक विलक्षण उपदान है Pandit Jatraj has done a remarkable job of taking India's classical heritage to different parts of the world. For example, it was in Prague that Pandit Ji made a visit sometime in 1980, which introduced Indian classical music a little bit back to our friends in Czechoslovakia. And the next year, he was formally invited. to participate in the prague spring festival papa <laughs> jatin bhai pura saal bapu ji छुट्टे पैसे जमा करते थे ताकि दिवाली की रात खुद सारे पटाखे खरीद सके वो पैसे हम रात में गिनते भी थे और वो भी आई से छुप छुप कर पता नहीं भाई हम पैसों से हम इतने पटाखे लाते थे इतने पटाखे लाते थे कि वो भी आप पूछते रह जाओगे और वो पटाखे हम लोग फोड़ देते थे <laughs> देखा बिल्कुल दादा आज भी कितनी मस्ती करते हैं और ऐसी मस्ती अपने नाते पतों को भी सिखाते हैं बिल्कुल सही है प्रताप भैया मैं देखिए ईश्वरी को गाना भी सिखाता हूँ ये काम मस्ती कहा करते हैं इतनी मस्ती किए बिना मजा कहाँ से आएगा From the state of being immersed in his music, Pandit Jasraj does surface as often as he can to enjoy the simple joys of everyday life, to celebrate that warm sense of belonging with his near and dear ones, a talented immediate family, and the distant shores of his human interests, peopled with friends and admirers. Why, with one another to bind him in an embrace? Yet, soaring on the wings of his music, he escapes all efforts of definition and ownership, smiling lovingly upon the enchanted audience. Mewati Gharana Gayaki has some religious attributes. In fact, a lot of the compositions are taken from Vedas and shlokas and padas and upadesha, and very much importance is paid to words of the compositions. Emphasis on swara is very prominent. 
and uh, there is a special feeling towards bringing out the actual mood of a raga in this gharana basking in a warm sense of belonging he imbibed the stylistic essence of his gharana to relax the sadhana ustad ghange nazir khan sahab se yeh shuru hota hai unse mere dada ji ne pandit mathulal ji और पंडित चिमन लाल जी ने सीखा और उन्होंने अपने भांजे पंडित मोतीराम जी को गाना सिखाया मेरे पिताजी पंडित मोतीराम जी ने अपने भाई पंडित ज्योतिराम जी अपने बेटे पंडित मणिराम जी और पंडित प्रताप नारायण जी को गाना सिखाया मेरे गुरु हुए गाने के पंडित मणिराम जी तबले के गुरु हुए पंडित प्रताप नारायण जी हर घराने की अपनी अहमियत है कोई लय को देख के चलते हैं कोई स्वर को देख के चलते हैं कोई विलंबित को लेके चलते हैं कोई मध्यलय में चलते हैं हर कलाकार ये मानता है कि स्वर माता और लय पिता है हम भी इस बात को मानते हैं स्वर माता लय पिता अब हमारे यहाँ घराने में क्या अहमियत इस वक्त है यह है कि हम एक राग के चारों एस्पेक्ट जानते हैं जिसे कहते हैं अस्थायी अंतरा अभोग संचारी ये जो चारों एस्पेक्ट्स एक राग को इतना बड़ा बना देते हैं मैं आपको कुछ उदाहरण देता हूँ मेरे पिताजी की बंदिश है राग है नट नारायण और उस नट नारायण से क्या होता है जो आदमी अपना दमागी संतुलन खो बैठता है तो उसको कंट्रोल करने में बड़ा सहायक राग है और भगवान की कृपा से हमारे घर में गाया जाता है इसकी एक बंदिश जो मेरे पिताजी ने लिखी है His music has not only caressed the soul, but has also healed the mind and body on many an occasion. I just want to say, I've been doing it from my childhood. And today, I'm saying that God, like the song I sing, doesn't get any more than me. I've never got any more than me. But I'm still getting it. 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 और मैं ये चाहता हूँ कि भगवान उसको ऐसे ही चार से चौवन चौगुना करता रहे आई न्यू पंडित जसराज फॉर मेनी मेनी इयर्स व्हेन ही वाज इन कैलकाटा देन व्हेन वी आई केम टू टोरंटो आई फाउंड दैट ही हैज बीन आल्सो बीन कमिंग टू वेस्टर्न वर्ल्ड एंड आई हैड अ ग्रेट डिजायर फॉर हिम टू कम हियर एंड गिव अ कॉन्सर्ट वी विल कॉन्टेक्ट द यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ टोरंटो वी क्रिएटेड एन एंजॉयमेंट फंड in the name of pandit jasraj ji to create uh, scholarships how do we raise the funds and uh, one of the things we thought was let's have a concert where pandit jasraj ji could come over and perform so the inception of the funds three scholarships have been given uh, every year and each scholarship virtually has gone to a canadian bond we are going to provide for further growth for the fund we have some benefits that we want to accrue to the future students who want to learn indian music this endowment fund i would like to see so his music alone he has been a true cultural ambassador for india to distant lands dotting the globe bahut pehle suna jata tha ki sanskrit ke pad gaaye jate the idhar ban ho gaya tha sanskrit ke padon ka gaan aur jis tarah se pandit ji ne use phir se dobara gaana shuru kiya hai वो भी मैं समझता हूँ कि भारतीय संगीत के लिए एक बहुत ही लक्ष्य में लेने लायक बात है चाहे बापू बैलेंसिंग करती है अच्छा साज वाज सब मिल गए ठीक है अगर मोर हो तो एक एक ट्राई करें ठीक है बेटा चाहे बापू जय हो जय हो
प्रत्यक्ष पे ज्यादा गाण शिकवत 
Beginning with one of his earliest compositions, the Pandit Jasraj legacy reverberates today with many a bandish of lyrical and musical brilliance. Pandit Jasraj Ji, always his yogdan will remain in history. This great representation of India's heritage. Ishwar se prasna karte hain ki wo shatayu rahe aur aise hi sangeet sari duniya ko sunate rahe. Texture richly with life significant thoughts, issues and events. His utterances are both a historian's treasure and a journalist's delight. Yet, to the probing eye, he remains an enigma. <laughs> दूसरी यात्रा तो मधुरा, दुर्गा, शारंग और माताजी हम लोग पूरा का पूरा परिवार यहाँ आए थे बहुत शांति से आराम से दर्शन दर्शन करके गए मगर हर यात्रा में हर बार एक नई अनुभूति होती है कि यूँ तो मैं संगीत को भगवान ही मानता हूँ भगवान के करीब मानता हूँ भगवान मानता हूँ यहाँ पे उत्सव में आया था मैं गा रहा था गा रहा था तो एक दिन के शर्ट पे आके रुक गया और मैं भूल गया कि मेरा मेरा सांस कहाँ से चल रहा है जब याद आया तो चला कि यहाँ से सांस चल रहा है और मेरा सांस ऊपर जा रहा था जम जा रहा था तीसरी बार ऊपर गया और मुझे ऐसा लगा अरे ये तो समाधि when might the receding echo of many of his standing ovations, the everyday world is lost in silence and oblivion. And in that glorious isolation, he is alone with his music and his maker. When that audience of one, the supreme one, inspires him to even further ascendance and excellence, Whispering to his soul what to say next. And like the mist rising above the peaks of worldly achievements, his music soars yet again. As perhaps the purest form of offering man can ever make. Thank the Lord for this wonderful gift of life. <laughs> Oh, 
गोपालम गोपिवलभम गोवर्धन उद्धरम गोवर्धन उद्धर वंदे गोमते प्रियम वंदे गोमते प्रियम
नरवीरम नरो
Dr. Ramesh, it seems that you have been muted. You were saying something, it was not.
so it was a wonderful uh, concept presentation and a well explained documentary of pandit jasra ji now i request someone from the school to say a vote of thanks please so yeah piyush madam please, please unmute yourself and please share vote of thanks right sir thank you now we have vote of thanks and it will be presented by archi jain good afternoon everyone present here i would like to thank each one of you here so for supporting us to the event Today we leave with the feeling that it holds true for Guru and Sangeet Maharaj, Pandit Jasraj, a great teacher who showed the correct path of teaching. He is a perennially flowing river, and he lives forever in Indian music. Would like to thank founder director of Big Mike, Professor Emeritus Dr. Kiran Seth from IIT Delhi. Bestowed with Padam Shri and Sanjeev Nadak Academy Award and SRA Foundation for making this event happen. Also, wish to thank principals, teachers, and students from Vivekananda Kendra Vidyalaya, Bilwada, Rajasthan. We hope you all enjoyed your time today. Thank you. Have a great weekend and bye bye. So Abhishek sir, I guess we can end the meeting now.